Okay, so in this video, we're going to try and find a specific coefficient. Rather than expand the whole thing, we want to find the number that is actually in front of the x to the 6 in the expansion of 2 plus x to the 8. Can we do it without having to go through the full expansion? Okay. Now we know that each of the terms in the binomial expansion have these three parts. So I've chosen 2 plus x to the 8 because theoretically I could figure out what it is. Okay, I could write down the Pascal's triangle to 8. But if I was looking at it to 20, um, I wouldn't want to have to write down the 20th row of Pascal's triangle. Okay. Now we have a tool that will allow us to find particular uh, numbers within Pascal's triangle. Okay. So what I can do is I can say, well, this value here is the Pascal's triangle number, and I need the sixth one. Okay. So remember, they go zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So this value, the coefficient for Pascal's triangle in here, would be 8 choose 6. Okay, 8 NCR 6. So 8 NCR 6 I can find on my calculator rather than having to write down Pascal's triangle. And that's 28. Then, in this, in this column, I've got the 2, and in this column, I've got the x. Now, I need x to the 6, so this has to be x to the 6. And these two numbers here, because this is 2 to the something, these two numbers have to add up to 8, so that's got to be 2. So now, I've got two, well, 28 as my coefficient times 2 to the 2, so 4. There's nothing else coming from the x to the 6, so I don't care about that. So the coefficient is 28 times 4, which is 112. So I would have 112 x to the 6 in my expansion. Okay. In the next few videos, we're going to see some more examples of this. Um, getting a little bit of practice with using the NCR function for when that power there is larger than 8.